Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps. And in today's video, we're gonna take a close look at the vendor folder and some of the um, files that you may need to be aware of just so you know um, what's happening with Composer. Um, you don't really need to know this information to be able to use Composer, but it'll be helpful um, in helping you debug some issues you may be having whilst um, requiring things and so stuff like that, okay? So if you've been following my previous videos, you'll know that all the packages um, by default are installed in the vendor folder. So Composer has its configurations inside the Composer folder in vendors, but any other packages um, have their own folders um, based on how their namespacing and stuff like that happens. So we're not going to examine the um, installed packages, but we're just going to inst um, have a look at the Composer folder. So just to touch briefly, the Illuminate package um, we have um, specified inside of our require here has some other sub packages that it needs so it needs the container um, package and also needs the support sorry the support package that we specified here needs the contracts package that's why it has been installed here so let's have a look at um, support and um, in this composer.json inside there so composer.json so if you have a look at the requirements for um, Illuminate support, it lists um, Illuminate contracts as its dependencies. So that gets installed even if though we didn't specify it, okay? So that's um, as much as I'll touch on the other packages. So back to the Composer folder. So you notice that inside of our index.php, we are requiring this autoload file. That's all you need to know about this vendor folder to be able to use it after installing packages, okay? So just know that um, these configurations for autoload that we're doing here, anytime you do a Composer dump autoload, for PSR4, um, Composer lists its um, configurations in autoload PSR4 file here. So if you notice, the namespace that we have, um, the base namespace as app, which corresponds to this app folder here, is listed here. So these are done by um, the other Composer um, packages which we installed which are um, Illuminate support and container. So those are um, the ones that are being listed at the top here. So we do not want, need to worry about those, but just um, know that this is created because of what we did inside of here, okay? So for files, um, let's have a look at autoload files. So if you read notice um, the file that we specified that we want to be automatically um, autoloaded for us, which is app functions is listed here. So base directory, app for slash functions dot php and as usual this is another um function uh, file include which is done by other packages okay so the third one which is class map um the configuration for that resides in autoload class map and um if you notice we specified classes as the base for all classes we want to load so composer knows to scan everything inside this um, classes folder and um, set all the classes that needs to be um, autoloaded, okay? So in this case, class one does not have um, any um, namespace, so that's why it's automatically set as um, the corresponding class for this file, class one here, and class two. So any class three is inside the subfolder here, so that's why it has been um, appended like it is being done there like this so um there are other files in here as well but i feel that you don't need to worry about those um because i feel these are the three um files that you need to worry about when it comes to understanding how auto loading works and um yeah so that brings us to the end of this video and as usual if you have any comments um please set, um, ask them in the comments below and um, please like and subscribe and share these videos if they're helpful so others can find them easily and I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.